This video is going to show you how to calculate the slope at a point on a curve on a graph. So here's a position versus time graph, and I've got a curve already drawn on the graph. Now I want to find the slope at 15 seconds. This is different from what you've done in the past. When it's a straight line, you know you need two points to find the slope. And here you're asking to find the slope at one point in time, right there at 15 seconds, which is that point on the curve, trying to find the slope. So not only is it curved, but it's also one point in time. To do that, you're going to draw something special. It's called a tangent line. And a tangent line is a line that touches the curve in one point without crossing over. We call that tangent to the curve. It's kind of a, a line that just barely glances off of the curve. So why is this line so invaluable? Well, we're going to find the slope of this tangent line, and that's going to be the slope of the curve at 15 seconds. And here's why. Let's look at something a little bit different. I've got a little itty bitty curve in that small blue box and I've got a red tangent line drawn on it. And there's a little arrow pointing from the lower left to the upper right. It's so small it's very hard to, say, to see it. So then let's magnify this curve. So we'll magnify it a hundred times right there and then go all the way up to 1300 times right here. So you can see the arrow at that little point, and if you look at the, the black line, that was curved. That was almost a quarter of a circle, and the red line was straight. And if you look at the two, you can see they almost look parallel. Now in terms of a time interval, I've gone from a time interval from left ha half of my screen to the right half of my screen of one second, which was originally up there, to now this is point oh 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 eight seconds. So I've magnified it a whole lot here to get to this point. And I can see that these two are parallel. So I know that the slope at the arrow is equal to the slope of the line at that one point where the arrow is. So this is how I'm going to find the slope of the line at 15 seconds. I've got to find the slope of the tangent line that's parallel to it at 15 seconds. So we say this is an instantaneous rate of change. That is, at this one instant in time identified by the arrow on the black curve, because the time interval is so small, it's equal to the slope of that red tangent line. So now let's go back to the problem. I've got 15 seconds and I've got my tangent line. If I look at my tangent line, I kind of eyeball it and I can see that I've highlighted this area in purple as the area in between the curve and the line. And those two areas on the right side and the left side are fairly equal to each other. To get that, what I would do is take a straight edge, such as a ruler, bring it up to the curve, and just kind of estimate when the area on the left hand side close to the curve is equal to the area on the right hand side. Now if I go too far away from, the, from that point from 15 seconds, they're not going to be the same. So I need them pretty close together to say those two areas are about the same. Since you're just eyeballing this, your numbers, my numbers, your friend's numbers may not be exactly the same, but they'll be pretty close. For example, maybe I get 0.5, you get 0.4, your friend gets 0.6 or 0.7. Those are pretty close to each other. If you want exact numbers, well, then you can do this with calculus and derivatives. But we're not there yet. All right, so now I've got my line drawn. I've got it all balanced out. I've got to find the slope. To find the slope, I just find the slope of the straight line. So I do this the way I've always done it. Slope is rise over run. So I'm going to pick two points on my tangent line. And I'm going to be smart about my points. I'm going to pick points that seem to go through corners of the square. So the numbers are really easy to identify. So I'll choose that one point. In the lower left, I'll choose this other point through the corner of the square. Now as I choose the point, whenever you're doing rise over run, it's always final minus initial. That's the one that's later in time. So that's going to, in this case, going to be the point to the right. So if I look at that, that's going to be 0. That's my final uh, position. And it minus the initial position. So it's minus a negative 9 meters. Now for the um, run, I go over to my point that's farthest to the right. That's the one that happened later in time. That's the final. And that's going to be 21. So it'll be 21 seconds minus the initial time, which goes down to 5 seconds. So that's minus 5 seconds. So the slope is negative, or sorry, it is positive 9 meters over 16 seconds. So that's the slope of the tangent line, and since the tangent line is parallel to the curve at that one point, as I showed earlier, it's also the slope of the curve at that one instant in time, at 15 seconds.